Today on the bench, I want to tie you up a version of the Chromie. You know, the Chromie comes in different colors, mainly it's silvers or, or adaptations of. This one is called the Coral Coronament. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we use a size 12 Scud Pupa hook, some 8 op black thread to tie with, some white Zeelon for the gills, a 7 64 inch black nickel bead for the bead, some coral flashaboo for the body, some black flashaboo for the rib, and some UV coat as the coating. To start the fly off, I put my black thread onto the hook, taking a little bit of the Zeelon. I'm going to wrap it in. I'm just going to take a couple of turns forward just to make sure it's, it's wrapped in well. And just have it so it's just wrapped over the front, just right to the eyelet. And then what I'm going to do is just whip finish there. I'm just going to put a quick whip in there. And then we'll put our bead on and slide it up. So when you put the bead on, you want to make sure the wide part of the bead, usually we use tungsten beads, so the wide part of the bead is towards the eyelet. And that way it'll cover over this material. And then we just want to cut it probably about you know, the size of the eyelet. Just a, you just want a nice little white gill top. Now that I have the gills and the bead on, I'm going to wrap in three strands of my, my coral flashaboo. Turn it back to the bend of the hook and actually go down about halfway on the bend of the hook. Take one strand of your black flashaboo. This one, no more, because we're going to use this for the rib. Again, tie it in near, just behind the bead. And then wrap it back. And now what I'm going to do is take my thread and keep it fairly thin. I'm going to build up a little bit of a tapered body. So keep the back end fairly good, you know, fairly thin. I'm going to go about halfway and start building up a bit of a taper. Now that we have a bit of a tapered body, we're going to take our coral flashaboo and we're just going to wrap it forward. And I like to use, like I said, three strands because you can move it around. And again, build it up so that it does taper up towards the bead. Now the body's tied in, I'm going to take my, my black flash move and just create a rib. And again, fish can't count, so you just want to make sure it's evenly ribbed all the way up. Could be anywhere from six to seven ribs. And what I do is I'll cut off my excess, and once I do cut it off, I am going to build up a little bit of a thorax with this black thread. So just keep building it so it tapers nicely to that bead and just create a small black thorax. Now what we're going to do is whip finish right behind that bead. Now that everything's tied in, we have our ribbing and the body, everything's there. We want to coat the fly and just make sure it stays good, you know, because if you don't coat it, a lot of times the fly will fall apart. You know, that rib's pretty delicate. So there it is, the finished coral chronomid. Now that material, you know, this, this coral, it is, it looks almost pink, but when it hits the water, it's quite clear and it's also even got a little slight green tinge to it. The fish love it. And you know, try different ribs. This one comes with a black rib and that black has a bit of green tinge to it also. So it imitates, you know, Chiabras pupa that are quite green. This is a great little chronomid to use in all different situations and definitely try with a red rib because that works great too. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.